Yerkes Observatory in Walworth County is now closed. The University of Chicago closed the doors at noon yesterday after 123 years. So just as liquidation trucks pulled up, our Julia Fellow got answers about that historic building's future. And Julia joins us live now with more on what you found out, Julia. Good morning to you, Susan and Vince. This historic facility that's so beautiful, built in 1895, has made huge discoveries over the years, including proving that our galaxy is in the shape of a spiral. The village administrator tells me the University of Chicago is in negotiations with a nonprofit group called the Yerkes Future Foundation to keep it open and educate the public. It's regardless, it's an end of an era right now. Yes, it is. A lot of disappointment, sadness. It's not like we didn't sort of know it was coming because there was an attempt 12-ish years ago to close the observatory uh, and sell it to a developer, which was blocked by the community rather vigorously. While the university has enjoyed teaching the public what they've learned, leaders tell me their core mission here is now over. And we were there as the liquidation trucks pulled up to get everything out. The land the university sits on is about 70 miles away from Chicago city lights. It was meant to do that because they wanted to study space and our sun. Prominent astronomers once used the most powerful telescope in the world at one time, including Edwin P. Hubble. The Hubble telescope is named after. I saw tearful faces as workers and astronomers left, including Richard Dreiser, who shared what he'll miss most about giving tours the past four decades. Not being able to answer questions. I love answering questions about astronomy and the history and the architectural detail. Including that plot of land that it was on was gifted to the University of Chicago. The cost to build that beautiful ornate building back in the 1800s was $360,000, including that telescope. And leaders say in today's terms, that would be about $15 million. Susan Events. Wow, what an emotional day. All right, Julia, thank you very much.